All right, so in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 7 to the power of x plus 2. So for method 1, and by the way, I have two methods of solving this equation. So for method 1, I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 7 to the power of x plus 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is the same thing as a to the power of, sorry, a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 7 to the power of x plus 2, that's also the same thing as 7 to the power of x times 7 to the power of 2. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 7 to the power of x. So I get 3 to the power of x over 7 to the power of x is equal to 7 to the power of 2. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 3 to the power of x over 7 to the power of x is, equal, is going to equal 3 over 7 to the power of x. And this is again equal to 7 to the power of 2. Now 7 squared is equal to 49. So I have 3 over 7 to the power of x is equal to 49. And now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log of 3 over 7 to the power of x is equal to log of 49. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So log 3 over 7 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 3 over 7 is equal to log 49. Now, if I divide both sides by log 3 over 7, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 49 over log 3 over 7. And this is the same thing as log base 3 over 7 of 49. So I can also rewrite this as this. Now for method 2, I have, again, my equation, which is 3 to the power of x is equal to 7 to the power of x plus 2. And I'm actually going to go ahead and immediately take the log on both sides this time. So I get log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 7 to the power of x plus 2. Now remember, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move b to the front, so I can move x to the front, and x plus 2 to the front. So I get x times log 3 is equal to x plus 2 times log 7. And if I distribute log 7, I get x times log 3 is equal to x times log 7 plus 2 times log 7. Now I'm going to subtract x times log 7 on both sides. So these two cancel out. And I get x times log 3 minus x times log 7 is equal to 2 times log 7. Now if I factor out x, I get x times log 3 minus log 7 
which is equal to 2 times log 7. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 3 minus log 7. So I get x is equal to 2 times log 7 over log 3 minus log 7. And although this is the correct answer of x, we actually have to simplify this a little more. So this is the same thing as 2 times log 7 over log 3 minus 2 times log 7 over log 7. These two log 7s cancel out. So I get x is equal to 2 times log base 3 of 7 minus 2.